All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Beast Breaker. This is actually really good launch music. I love it. It's, I don't know, it's just nice to listen to. Anyway, so Beast Breaker is, I don't, you know what, we're just going to dive in. I'm not even going to try and explain what this is. You'll see what it, be, what it is once we get rolling. It looks lovely, though. Huh. Incoming transmission. One final time, I ask you to raise your sword. The beast outside your farm has cornered me. Without intervention, I may not survive. Please. That's a pretty busted sword, though. Aw, it's so cute. Oh, it didn't take too much convincing. Holy shit, this thing is... Ridiculous. Ambushed by a shard Nestrax. Actions left. Shard. Desperate strike. Select desperate strike to attack the beast. Okay. Aim. Rotate. Aim. Okay. I see. It's kind of pegglish. Kind of. I'm just going to do that. This is a core. Cores take several hits to destroy. These are scales. Scales can be destroyed with a single hit. Okay. This would this actually be this might be easier without a controller. So, I thought it was just gonna hit it in the face, but no. You wanna kinda hit it like this. Dang. You're out of actions. End the turn. Uh the remaining number of times you can use an ability this turn. Okay, end turn, end turn button is down there. Got it. Scales grow back every turn. Mouse over the GRW to find more. Okay, the number that grow back. Destroy the core. Okay, so if I aim here... We've got another desperate strike. Got it. But I, it seems like it might have a second se section. We'll see. Did I stop it? S stranger, you're safe? No one's here. Who sent that message? Should get Granny's sword back before... Huh? It's not dead yet. It's a two-parter. Okay. The highlighted area on the ground is an attack zone. Mouse over the attack to see more. The end your turn in the highlighted area, the beast will attack you for this much damage. No, skipper! Quick, widen your stance, balance the blade, strike the core. Okay, I'm gonna go for two. Okay, I'm not in the damage zone yet. And I did take the hit. I was trying not to, but I'm getting greedy here. I just can do a lot of damage if I do it right. Well, this is neat. Skipper, someone was in trouble. With a lick of sense, anyone would have sought shelter in the fe uh, at the first beast footfall. Only a fool runs towards the danger. They called for help. You've got a good heart. We'll talk about my sword later. Right now, we need to get our tails back to the farm before we risk a rampage or change of plans. We're talking about we're talking about the sword now. I'm loving the art for this. Like the background details are really nice. Oh boy, oh boy, shard needle back. Stay nimble and make calculated strikes to prepare for a stronger attack. This ability generates charge. Okay, so to some degree what we want to do is aim for parts that'll keep me out of harm's way. I don't think I'm going to be able to get too much, tragically. Let's 
So I think I'm just going to do that and just leave myself there where I'm not going to get hit. Because I don't think I need to be fast here. I just need to be healthy. You're all charged up. Now impale it with your sword point. Okay. So I just end up there. Okay. The farm's right in its path. Take out one of its cores to stop it. Beasts will rampage in unless you stop them. Mouse over the rampage counter to find out more. Number of turns remains before the beast rampages. If a beast rampages, you lose the battle. Beasts will rampage unless you stop them. Mouse over the rampage counter to find out more. Okay, cool. I did. But... Oh, I have zero actions left. I have moused over it. Okay, now we're good. I guess I just needed a mouse over it more. So, I think I've got to start hitting its core. Rampage reset. Oh! That distracted it. Destroying the core lowers the beast's growth, growth rate, too. Oh. Killing that core distracted the beast. Mouse over... Ram to find out more. Ram. The value that the rampage counter will reset to when you destroy a core. Cool. No rest for weary paws. Strike the vital core and end this now. I'm trying to see. I mean, I don't have the best situation. But at least I can do some damage there. Okay. I'm just going to pierce these two. Reset the rampage. Um. Okay. Let's do that. Whoop. Okay, that hurt a bit. It's fine, though. Okay, if I do this... I can just go on a absolute slam bone. Uh, let's see. Strike. I'm just going to believe in myself. Good enough. Rampage in a couple of turns. It's fine. Well, there we go. Got it. Yeah, we took a hit. I don't think it's a big deal taking a hit. And we get a bunch of shimmers and blossoms. All right, this I'm invested. Beast broken. I like it. You see what comes from taking risks. That cousin of yours is a bad influence. Oh, that glittering. I I haven't seen moats like this since I was just a scrap of a thing. How did that beast keep them inside it when the rest of the magic was chased away? Uh, I need to fire up the forge immediately. To fix something? No. Or, perhaps, to fix the sword. New weapon available, sword and shield. Alright, I'm actually really invested in this. I love the art style, I love the gameplay, the music is incredible. Hearth. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Kitchen. Nothing here. Oh, that's some actual tech. Also, lovely looking. I guess it would make sense to be a mouse. You have, you know, these giant strawberries just in your kitchen. Why not? These moats from inside the beast, I haven't seen them, like, for for a generation. See how they shine so much more than that faint flickers we get around the crops? I don't understand it. Still, waste not, want not. Check your bag. Ah, they've tangled into a spark already. Not surprised. Back before, we'd find almost every... We'd find one almost every time we went out wandering. The magic was that plentiful. They're always worth gathering up because the sparks need to be untangled. And if we help the magic flow again... Here, I'll show you what I mean. Crap. Shimmer Sparks. Pretty. Blossom Sparks. Also pretty. Okay, Sparks. Craft. 
So unlocked new sword and shield, shell cracker. So strike, spot flaw, defensive charge, and shield bash. Now the moats are free to replenish the world, but they've left some of their power behind in this equipment. And new armor, sturdy stitch tunic. The fire lit, the sparks crackling. It's like being back there again, forging a new blade and watching a relative nearly get themselves killed. You said you saw a critter and thought they needed help. No, someone asked. With this. What if those? They've started showing up the past few days. Looks like trouble to me. I've been locking them in the cellar. Okay, so we don't have anything new. Go back. Cellar. A whole box full. <gasps> One still moving. Plan expedition. Farmstead in danger. Put this new sword to the test. Renown level one. You're grown now, and I'm well used to having warnings ignored. But I'll say it regardless. The world will always be filled with critters in trouble. I don't want you to be one of them. Even if magic might still be out there. Uh, take the better sword at least. Okay. So, bonus action tile. Game one actions when you damage this tile. Ooh. And sword and shield, defenseless, shell cracker, clear, clearly. And depart. I am really invested in this. This is incredibly cool. I never really got into this style of game necessarily. Uh, I played like a little bit of Peggle back in the day, but I thought it was okay at best. Rushing in heedlessly makes for a fool's fight. Tailor your attacks to the gear you've got. Okay, you knew how to. Armor has a special ability that modifies a piece of the beast. Mouse over bonus action to find out more. So gain one action when you damage this tile. Bonus tiles are randomly assigned to the beast scale at the start of your turn. So it's this one. Not the most useful positioning. Actually pretty piss poor to be honest. Okay, we did some serious damage there. Defensive charge, deal one damage, gain one block. I don't care too much about block at the moment. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out inside. Ah, bad place. It's okay. Rampage in a couple of turns. Use your shield. A defensive charge will prepare you to block incoming attacks. Cracked cores take plus two damage. We also have shield bash. Consumes all block, plus five steps for every block consumed. I don't think I have any block at the moment. This one's tough. Oh, 80 movement, 80 movement, 100 movement. I'm going to just do this. Okay. And I've got another one. We got that. Rampage reset. Oh, that gets rid of one of the one of the legs. More moats. Scamper to quick gather them. Unfortunately, no scamper. Okay. Worth it, though. Let's see if I can... There we go. And I'm gonna see if I can... Get it. Wreck its butt. There we go. More moats. Granny wants me to build up blocking power for defense. Should I channel it into a shield bash instead? I mean, I don't think I even use charge for any reason. Okay, so we get the bonus action. Okay. Then I think I'm just gonna wait. Oh, cause I need ch I need charge. That's what I need charge for. Ow. 
but we blocked it. Okay. Patience pays off. If you, if you spot flaws in the beast cores, you'll do more damage with every blow. Okay. I'm gonna just bounce off that, wreck one of its legs. Okay, we're still in a kind of iffy spot here. And I still have some block, but no biggie. I'm gonna just do I see defensive I see said the man bit. Yeah, because I can't do a spot flaw yet. fine. Just gonna pop that. And then I was hoping I'd get myself in a better position. I did not. Okay. I do have something like shield bash or spot flaw or whatever. Okay, no dice. Still rampage in a couple of turns. It's kind of fine. This is a good spot. Very good spot. Okay. Cracked it. Got it. Perfect. And what if I just get moats for every bit that I killed? Or if I'm really better off just killing things? Or if we just get randomly generated missions that I can do extras? I don't know. Okay, so what can I forge? New spark, placid spark. And tangle spark. Okay. Gain 20 charge when you damage this tile. That's good, but I like the extra actions. Okay. You're not the one I expected to answer my message. Y you you're the stranger you tried to help, yes. Tell your grandmother you met someone named Cinnabar. There are male car that they're a mail carrier of swords, and that they bear missives from those in desperate need of Who? Who are they? Eager, aren't you? There's a beast stalking a settlement at the furthest edge of Bramble Hollow. So now, the only question is, what do you plan to do about it? Interesting. A town at the edge of Bramble Hollow is being menaced by beasts with metallic scales. Alright, I think I'm gonna just keep what I got. Sap and splinters! Oh no, sap and splinters! It's still heading due south. Those folks ought to evacuate, evacuate right quick. Whoa, you there, slow your skedaddle. Needle Needlebeaks like this have mighty fine hearing. I've been tracking the trajectory of this one, and there's about to be big trouble, and I do mean big. I'll help. Help me more than the townsfolk, you mean. Hey, now, wait. Alright, let's do this. This is sick. Alright, sneak attack. Forge Needlebeak. Alright. If you're really tangling with that beast, at least take some pick-me-ups. The scout has given you some consumables. You can use them once per turn. Instantly gain 15 charge. Cool. I'm gonna hit the bonus action tile. Break one of them. Talk about pep in your step. Let's see what you can do with this. Instantly gain some health. Useful. All right. Now I still can't do spot flaw, tragically.
Okay, luckily it doesn't seem to have any attacks queued up. But yeah, I could potentially crack that central core. Maybe. I'm just gonna kinda do that. Um. There we go. There goes his back spike. Okay. I can only recover so much. I want to crack its central core if I can get to it. I might not be able to. Gonna try that, or end up somewhere else entirely. Gonna do a defensive charge on this one. I don't have much I can do, so I'm just gonna crack that. Well, at least I end up with some defense. So it does three damage, that's not so bad. Let's see if I can... There we go, get the extra action. Perfect. Alright. Rampage reset. And I can spot flaw. There we go. And turn. So now we can do some major damage to the core whenever I get to it, because I think that remains cracked. I could be wrong. Yeah, damn it. I don't think there's much else I'm going to be able to swing here, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just hit this from behind. At least I can drastically diminish this thing's combat powers and general parts. Um, I'm just gonna go in there and do some harm. Let's see. Nah, I'll take this out. I'm gonna take some damage, but not much, because I have one. Okay, what do we got? I'll take the extra action just because whatever happens, happens. And I want that shine. I'm just gonna do this. That, wow, I just got hit by one hell of a deja vu there for whatever reason. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot this gap. There we go, we get the bonus action. Reset the rampage. And we did some serious damage there. And then I think I can just kill it. We're good. This music is so sick. Everything about this is so good. All right, score and renown. Success, core is destroyed, under par. Huh, interesting, and I level up. Wow, you're a real champ. Well, blow me over with a breeze. You may be tiny, but talk about making big impact. Yeah. Name's John Quill. Feel free to look me up again if you ever find yourself in, ho in the hollow again. Uh, uh, unless it's finding yourself back out of the thicket afterwards that has you fretting. Uh, maybe? I'd be happy to help with that, champ. After what you did, uh, what you just did for all those folks, it's the least I can do. Aw, oh, it's so cool. Thanks for inviting me in, ma'am. That's real hospitable. Yes, well, seemed only right after what you did for Skipper. Ah, oh, Skipper did the hard work for themselves. Saving that settlement. A rescue worthy of the Whiskersmith twins. Just me and my grandchildren now. No need for a fuss. Wait, do you mean soak me in a stream? How did I not realize this forge, that scar? You're... You're... Here we go. 
Thistle Whiskersmith. Oh, it's a real honor, ma'am. If there's anything I can do to lend a paw, say the word. Uh, I don't like Skipper out there alone. And we do have plenty of chores around the farm. I suppose there's room enough. You can stay for the moment. Aw. And he's just chilling. New companion, John Quill. Oh, but we can't talk to him. So the twins must have been her children. Maybe. These unsettling messages swooping about. I'd hoped this family was done being the w at the world's beck and call. Clearly, that was wishful thinking. This is important. Mm, I thought so too once. If we, s if we save the world, maybe just focus on saving one settlement at a time. I know your intentions are good, but my old sword may prove heavier than you think. Uh, so that was her. Not what I expected from the stories. Then again, stories tend to change with, that, with the telling, don't they? So what do you think of her concerns? Uh... Hmm... I suppose your actions speak louder than your words. Okay, still can't craft at anything new. And he's just chilling. Though you can see the, the armchair has grown some quills as part of it. The right track. John Quill offers to teach Skipper the art of tracking beasts. John Quill, this village uh, has for help, but... Uh, yeah. Tangledale's real deep in the hollow. Navigating those thickets gets pretty tricky. Not to mention it takes a whole slew of different skills dealing with beasts out there. Uh-huh. Aw, uh, hey now. No need to ring your whiskers, champ. How about I teach you how to track? Okay. No bonus. Oh, that's interesting. Oh... Maybe you get a bonus by switching your gear often. Ah, nothing like a jaunt between the beneath the majestic brambles to put a spring in your step. I spotted some sure signs of beasts, though. So keep a sharp eye. Ah. Now, a good scout always keeps useful materials on hand. Luckily for us, there where there's thorns, there's berries. Move to a berry space to gain materials. Obstacle, obstacle, material, material. Now, best we save those for a talent for the talented vi village folks. Temp tempting as it is to take a nibble. Okay, we have a tusk crawler. There it is. Sap and splinters. If that thing barreled into the Tangle Dale, it would be a disaster. Ah. Huh. Whoa. Let's hang back a moment. Beast like this, you wanna, you probably wanna do some reconnaissance first. Recon the beast by standing on a space adjacent to it. Aha. That's what us scouts call a sharp beast. A few explosives will make quick work of its scales. Head on over to the settlement, we'll get something cooking. Okay, nothing on the empty spaces. Can't always rely on noble caravans out here, so we make do, and make some really swell, swell stuff. Of course, it gets tough for folks to gather materials when a beast is on the prowl. Situation like this, I recommend an explosive essence. Anything's essences. If we swab one of those onto your weapon, that'll give you all sorts of new ways to damage the beast. Not how we'd normally use them, but moats folks don't usually don't normally wrestle with a beast like you do. Alright, explosive essence. Ex essences are applied on the first three bounces, causing an explosion dealing one damage to all scales in a very small radius. Now, let's go show that beast a thing or two. Big pig. Okay, let the beast pass? No, sneak attack. You enter the battle immediately and will get a free turn when the beast will not attack you. Hey. Okay, sneak attack. Go on, give it a strike. You'll see what makes that essence so essential. Okay. This one's tough. If I aim here... There we go. Okay, let's do something like that. Good enough. You know, it looked like a pig on the map, but it is a giant bug. Unsurprisingly. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do too much here, so let's just bust that up. Reset its rampage. 
And I'm just gonna spot flaw right off of this. Would have been nice to crack some other things, but honestly... That's very worthwhile. Okay. Grab the tangle. And then shoot for this gap. Oh, it's the first three bounces of every attack. I'll take it. Oh, that was close. We should probably do a defensive charge at this point. Just to get the extra shields going. Let's do that. I think we can actually just kill it. Hella under par. Do we still get the shards or no? So I really do want to actually bust more bits off of these guys. It's fine. I bet we get to play as much as we want. Beast trait scouted, pulls remaining, cores destroyed, under par. Eh, good enough. But yeah, I could have gotten a lot more. Things got a tad vigorous out there. Still, I sure do feel refreshed, don't you? So maybe don't crack the core immediately in the future. You, uh, know a lot about beasts. Ah, uh, not that much. I just noticed a few patterns over time wandering out in the wild like I do. Have my whole life to watch them too. Boats, I can barely remember the time before they showed up. It's all types of beasts, you know? Taking on all sorts of different forms in all kinds of environments. Sometimes it makes me wonder if they're nature's guardians rampaging because they sense the magic is missing. Uh, well, you never know. Maybe if you keep finding ways to bring back magic, you'll calm, all, calm them all back down. Till then, no matter their motives, as long as they're threatening critters' lives, I'll keep fighting. You, uh, heard of Granny? Heard of her? When the beast first struck, most critters turned tail and hungered down, hoping it would pass. But not her. She and her sis were out there every day fighting tooth and blade. We didn't call those two the legendary warriors for nothing. They saved hundreds, no thousands of settlements. Once they even fought a writhing river beast that was this big. I'm sure that's an exaggeration. Oh, apologies. Didn't see you there, ma'am. But I watched you two fighting that day, you know? That was my village you saved. Oh, my. I didn't realize how callous of me. Nah, don't worry yourself. I was just one of the youngsters in a cheering crowd. You wouldn't have recognized me. But now you're a scout, I see. A fine profession. Worked with a few back in the day to stock our forge magic. Sure am. Though mostly I keep watch for beasts nowadays. Not enough magic left to go searching for sparks. Though if you don't mind me saying so, the moats around your farm are shining something special. Maybe it's a sign that the world's finally going to start bouncing back from all of this. One can only hope. Okay, now, uh, where's Poppy? According to the note stuffed in the bread box, that wayward cousin of yours went out foraging. Again. Uh, I'd feel better about, about it if she weren't so prone to getting distracted. I still shudder at the earth earthworm rodeo incident. Anyway, keep a lookout. Ah. Pretty sure, okay. Splinter spark, and we got a tangle spark. Strike and Rage. Add four taunt. This is the first bounce. Increase attack by two. Gain six block. On bounce. On the first bounce, deal three damage or retaliate. When the beast lands an attack on you, deal damage to its attack to the attacking core. Hmm. I actually... That sounds really cool. Okay, keep on tracking. Another tracking lesson. Jungle's got it covered. Any more lessons? For tracking, you mean? Aw, I'm honored you think that my ramblings can help you out, but yeah, sure thing. I can probably find a few more tips rattling around this old noggin. Ready when you are. Shit, I want to play more of this. Uh, let's try this. The Revenger. It's so new, times one. I wonder if that gives me bonus stuff. Alright, the brambles are really dense here. You can hardly see past your stout. snout. But here, lay upon the, uh, lay upon the vines. Feel that faint trembling? There's a beast about, and I bet I know where it's headed. That there's a corruption pool. Careful, it's poison for critters like us. But poison for us is tasty for beasts. They love those pools, so they always walk towards the nearest one. Here, let's scout around and try and spot that beast. Let's head deeper into the undergrowth, champ. Better to learn what we can ra sooner rather than later. Wait, he wants me to walk towards it? Oh, I see. 
Hear that roar? The beast just swallowed down a corruption pool and got stronger. It's like clockwork. Beast head from pool to pool, drinking them all up, and then... Smash! Straight into the village. Huh. Come on, let's grab some supplies and cut it off at the pass. The sooner the better. Let's see, do I want to increase attack, ram, decrease ram? No, oh, the last one increases its attack. Okay, do I just fight it here? Or I'm going to go to the settlement. Alright, no choice but to fight it. It's fine. I'll make it work. <sighs> Alright, so it's another one of these suckers. Shard Tusk Crawler. But that's fine. Okay, so its attack is five, which is a little spookier. We do have steel nerves, but I don't have enough to pull it off. So I want to get out of here. That wasn't really the plan, but that's okay. It's fine. Oh, that's a new one. Okay, I can destroy that. So that gets me steel nerves. But I can't do retaliate. But I have six block now. So the question is, oh, where's the bonus action? I don't know. Either way, we got out of damage town. There it is. Okay, we get the bonus action. Break that, reset its rampage, do some damage. I don't have a retaliate right now. And boy, I would love to break some of these. So what is enrage? Taunt. First bounce increase attack by one. Oh. I see. Taunt is actually really cool. I don't think I got it with a taunt, though. Unfortunately. Well, that's gonna work. Okay, got it. Got one of the legs, resets the rampage. Holy shit, we did... We did some heinous shit right there. Alright. Grab some of those. Break that. Break that. Oh, we are just shredding this sucker. Okay, let's bounce off of that one. Aim for that. Oh. If I get him here. And if I strike. Uh, here? No. If I strike here. Oh. Well, I'm going to take some damage, but I'm, I'm blocking. Or I still have that block. Because block carries over. Alright. Let's grab that before it's gone. Booty. Booty gone. It attacks. We've left precious little here. I'm just going to hit it in the face, grab both of those, get the extra action. Strike. Now if I can... I'm just going to leave very little left of this creature if possible. I 
I don't necessarily want to kill it here. Oh, well, this hurts. It's fine, but it hurts. Okay. Now I have... No, that's retaliate. I wanted to get the other one, but honestly, a retaliate is not the worst idea in the world here. And we get a lot of stuff. Alright, now I should be able to make some serious equipment out of this. So, I get more points for the amount of pools remaining. Good to know. And I get less for the cores destroyed, but I get way more crafting materials, which is worth it. And my renown level goes up. Great work today, champ. Let's head home and rest up. This is really cool. Unlock calls for aid. Cinnabar will regularly deliver requests from settlements who need your help. So I think at this point, there's kind of... The story is based largely... I would wager on my reputation level, my renown level, and then it's just go fight the same beast over and over again, but maybe switch your gear around. So, you're the so-called mail carrier sending these messages. I didn't see you there. I'm impressed that you managed to sneak up on me. Clearly you have some of your... You still have some of your skills. I'm impressed you managed to keep away from me this long, which means you have skills of your own, and I'd rather learn them now. Skipper may welcome you, but it's still my farm. I want to know who you are. You know my name, you know how to refer to me, you know what I do. Can't that be enough? Forgive me if I don't trust so easily. I sympathize, but neither do I. Interesting. Okay. Nothing to craft. Alas! It's fine. Okay, so I could do more. Aha! So, we have expeditions. I'm assuming yellow might be plot. Add another, add another arrow to their quiver, or we can just do these for randomly generated missions to unlock various moat, dra moat drops from creatures that we fought before. So we could find a tusk crawler to get these things or a needle bag to get those. Got it. All right, well, this is incredibly good. The artistry of it is super nice, and I... I, I Seriously dig the visuals, I dig the music, and I dig the gameplay. It's com something completely different, yet entirely familiar. Um, gosh, I need to make a list of these at some point. Games that take an older game's concept, in this case Peggle, but then add layers to it to suddenly make it this entirely different product. Uh, you can see that with Demon Crawl. <laughs> Honestly, I guess kind of within this vein, uh, Round Garden Peglin. A lot of roguelikes have been doing this more so than anything else, but there's been a couple others that are not roguelikes that I think also do it incredibly well. And I love it. It's so cool. And I I wish I could play more. I'd like to play more. I might play more at some point. Because I just, I don't know. It's just kind of a fun game. I like the strategy of it, and I'm terrible with trajectories. But is what it is. Either way, with all of that said, this game is Beast Breaker. There we go. I was just blanking on the name for whatever reason. Beast Breaker is available on the Epic Game Store. I think it's 20 bucks. I can't... E I guess I can easy, easily check. Beast Breaker is... Oh, no. Okay, so it's available on the Epic Game Store. It's also available on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, and it's a 15 buck game, not a 20 buck game, which I think is more than fair for what you get. I mean, look at this. Look at this just beautiful screen. Obviously, once you get into combat, it's a little bit more basic, but you don't want all of that extra distraction anyway. You really want to focus on the bouncing. I just, I think it's really cool. I'm really excited to see more of this game and more games kind of in this vein, where it's just plain, simple fun and a really interesting twist on a familiar concept that makes it its, its entirely own and original and interesting thing. I, I dig it a lot. But, with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I have tons of indie games to check out every single day, and I might come back to this one as well, just whenever. I'll probably put it up to a Patreon vote, just because I think it's so cool. But, with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.